Hey traders, what is going on? It's Wilson and I just want to make another quick video on the level on how to read the level 2 charts as well as the time and sales chart on the right. Um, as you can tell this is a, a live level 2 chart from the stock Apple, AAPL is the ticker. And one of the main questions that came up in the live chat that I'm part of for the trading community is what exactly does the colors mean? What does the left side mean? What does the right side mean? And how exactly does the time uh, and sales table work because it shows the real-time sales. Now, um, the main difference uh, between the level two live quotes right here, as you can tell with the left grid and the right grid versus the time and sales chart, is that uh, the, these are just orders being placed. Um, and on the time and sales, is actual transactions that is going through. So with orders being placed, it can be taken down, it can be canceled. Um, so it's not really like an actual indicator and there's actually a lot of ways that big companies and financial institutes leverage these to pump out I guess you can kind of say like a false data to to trick retail traders but it's also very important to monitor this in order to know if it's the correct time to buy in if the stock is still being bought if there's still momentum going on and whether or not uh, it's a good time to sell so on the left side right here is usually the buy table and the right side right here of the level two chart is the sell table. Uh, and what this first column mean with the NSDQ, the ARCA, uh, EDGX is the market maker. So it's the people that are buying and selling that's making the trade. Uh, and it's the same exact one as you can see over on the sell side as well. So the second, uh, the second column is the bid. So it's what the price is, was being bought for so how much uh, for example at Apple right now the, the price that was being bought was uh, 156.66 cents and this is the size so the quantity of how many shares were being bought and the same thing goes for the right side right here but this is how many shares are being sold um, and again this is just the, the market maker so it's the, it's the exchange that's selling it uh, and this is the buying one now uh, we want to monitor this closely because if it's not changing then that means there's no momentum in the stock and that means the stock isn't moving so usually if the stock has a lot of volume you see a lot of buyers and sellers uh, how you can use this when you're trading especially when you're day trading is for example if you see that a lot of shares are being bought at 156 and the current price let's say is 157 let's say or low 157s then you know that this is the price that people are buying for and as soon as this turns into 157 you know that it's it's gonna it's gonna go up so if there's a wall of buyers uh, as opposed to a wall of sellers then you know that the stock will continue going up because of the momentum as you can and what you want to look for is these bigger numbers so you want to see these like 1,001 153, 1,103. So these are the bigger numbers. That means they're showing a big wall of buyers. Whereas we don't want to sell sellers if we're going long on the stock. So if we're hoping that the stock goes up. We don't want to see some sellers. Now on the right side is the time and sales. These are the actual transactions that are occurring on that or actually that actually went through as I mentioned before. And this shows the price and this shows the size right here. Um, what the colors mean is that if it's red, it means that that um, the people are taking the bid price as opposed to taking the, the offer price. So when it's green, it means the price is going up because people are taking the, the offer price as opposed to the bid price, which is red. So uh, using these two, you can kind of tell um, how what direction is the stock going up at. And especially when you're trading a stock with a lot of volatility like Apple, a dollar could be a big change. So let's say you bought into a position and it jumped up by $4, but you see that the buy side is halted. That means that there's no more buyers, but you see that the sell side is being filled up with a wall of sellers, then you probably want to get out to take your profits if you're already in the profit zone, right? Uh, and at the same time, you can use the same strategy to set the stop loss. And what I like to use it for is mainly to see the momentum, what's going on, what's the actual price that's being bought at, what people are willing to pay for the, pay for the stock, as well as what, what the sell price is and how far the spread is between both of them. So this is just a quick overview. I hope it answered all your questions. If you have any more, you can always ask me. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Um, you can always follow me on Twitter at It's Wilson 8 Thank you.